<laughs> okay, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat, uh, lalo na sa mga teachers natin uh, who are joining us this afternoon. We have uh, a bunch uh, of uh, our teachers from Bukal National High School. Uh, welcome to the UP NISMED K-12 Science Webinars. Uh, today's webinar is the 11th in the series and the 4th for Grade A. Today's webinar is special. In fact, you can call it super mega special because it is about implementation and in particular about what takes place in the classroom. We will be looking at grade 8 science curriculum from pedagogical and operational perspectives. Does the curriculum work as intended? Are the promised outcomes achievable? What conditions in the schools will make the reform work? How do we support teachers? This year, we started the implementation in grade 8. And in April, NISMED trained the regional and division trainers, who in turn trained teachers. We know this year is not going to be easy because grade 8 science is very different from second year biology. How did schools and teachers adapt to the change? What are the effects on student learning? These are questions whose answers we won't know until we listen to the key players, the teachers. So today, two community members will give us a peep into their classrooms and tell us their respective stories. The focus, unit one, force, motion, and energy the physics strand of grade 8 science. The stories that we will hear this afternoon are different. One is about a biology major who taught physics concepts for the first time to lower section large classes. Does that sound familiar? And the other is about a physics, teach physics major who taught one small size special science class. The contrast is interesting, isn't it? Well, let us look at our agenda. We will have about uh, 40 minutes of the presentations, which will be followed by a question and answer. And then we will have an open sharing for all uh, where all of the grade 8 science teachers in attendance today will have the opportunity to share your own implementation experiences. <clears throat> so folks, get ready. We are going to begin the storytelling in a short while. Let me introduce our presenters this afternoon. We will have two, and uh, let me uh, load the presentation of our first presenter as I introduce her to you. Okay, our first presenter is is uh, Miss Marivic S. Rosales, Mavic, as uh, she is called by friends and colleagues, is a master teacher one at the San Jose del Monte high National High School in Bulacan. Finished Bachelor of Science in General Araneta University Foundation, now the La Salle Araneta University in Malabon City. She later specialized in biology under the DOSTE scholarship for non-majors. Mavic uh, joined San Jose del Monte National High School in 1995 
and taught biology, chemistry, and computer education. This year, though, she is a full-time grade 8 science teacher. Mavic is a teacher leader. She is a member of the team of reviewers of the learner's material and teaching guide for K-12 science. She is also a writer of ICT training modules and the ICT curriculum guide for DepEd's Bureau of Elementary Education and a senior trainer of the Intel Teach program. Mavic says that at first she thought that the K-12 curriculum will be very hard for a specialist science teacher like her because she will be teaching other fields of science like physics which in her word she hated most add to this the feedback that she was hearing from grade 7 teachers who described the new curriculum as magulo mahirap and so forth Mavic said her view changed a lot when she attended the mass training for grade 8 science last summer. That training, according to her, really prepared her to become a good K-12 science teacher. Ladies and gentlemen, to relate her own K-12 science experience and to share to us what she learned from teaching the physics strand in her five grade 8 classes. Let us all welcome Ms. Marivic Rosales. Mavic? Okay, good afternoon po. Hello. Clear ba ako, ma'am? Cell? Yung yes, audio? yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Very good audio. I hope the our attendees can hear you also. Uh, can you please type in the chat window if you can hear Mavic uh, loud and clear? Ah, okay. May yes na sa, sa bukal and si Ma'am Fidela, Evangelista. Good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, ah, yan. Mag-start na ako ng kwento ko. <laughs> okay. Uh, as I, uh, Ma'am Celia introduced me, I'm Marivic Rosales from San Jose del Monte High School handling grade 8 science class. And we have... 864 enrollees divided into 16 sections for grade 8 and 4 science teachers. Meron po kaming turo ng science ng K-12 to 4 days, 1 hour per session. Uh, I am handling so ang data no, ng, aming, ng aming school. Ang principal namin si Ma'am Wilma M. Aquino and those are the data for different grade levels. Um, yun, and very thankful ako as what Miss Celia mentioned no, nung naka-attend ako ng training ng grade 8 teachers. Kasi nga, na-prepare talaga ako kasi nakita ko yung papaano ba ituturo yung physics Ano yung mga topics na ibibigay ko sa mga studyo? Plus, nabigyan din kami ng mga resources. Ang maganda nito, kompleto yung resources na nakuha namin. The curriculum guide, the teaching guide, and, and learning material for uh, first grading to fourth grading. O, kaya, ang saya-saya ko no, no, na nakakuha ko nun and I was prepared. Tapos, maliban po dun sa mga natanggap namin ng mga resources, gumamit din po ako ng ibang resources from the internet. No? Uh, meron akong mga ginamit na uh, interactive lessons from the internet. And this is to learn and gain more knowledge about the topics for Unit 1. At Nagamit din siya sa mga estudyante ko at mas madali din nila naintindihan yung, yung lesson no, sa physics. So, hindi man ako physics major, uh, I can say na naituro ko ng maayos yung konsepto para sa unit 1. 
no? Yun. And then, uh, dahil dito sa mga resources ng galing sa internet, they are interactive, may video lesson, mas naging enjoyable para sa estudyante yung, yung lesson. So, kung na naman po natin, yung slide iba, kung titignan natin yung, yung comparison between yung previous ko rin ko na ginagawa at saka yung ngayon na experience, uh, yan, these are the list, no? ng mga online resources from Newton's Law of Motion, Kinetic and Potential Energy, Animation ng Circuits, Interactive Circuit, nag-enjoy talaga yung mga bata dyan, no? Sa mga yan. And then, dahil sa, sa limited time, uh, nakakuha rin ako ng video lesson on sounds and colors of light na naka-incorporate yung mga activities na nahan dun sa, sa learning material. Kaya, yun, nahabol ko siya. So, kung i-compare ko naman yung, yung ano, experience ko dun sa dating uh, curriculum tsaka yung curriculum
Ayan. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Oo nga. Technical uh, problems. Yan. Technical errors hindi maiwasan. Ayan. Sana ko huling narinig kaya. Nakapasok na si Emery. Eh. Sa stay safe siguro, no? Doon pa? Okay. Ayan. Balik na tayo. So, doon na ako sa stay safe. Tama? Ito. Yung experience namin dyan, we tried several trials, pero hindi talaga kami naging successful dun sa mapainit yung wire at matunaw yung candle. So, suko na. Gusto nang sumuko talaga. So, sabi namin, and sige, stop na tayo. Pag uwi sa bahay, kinulit ko yung asawa ko. Sabi ko, Tulong naman, hindi talaga kami maging successful dito. Alam ko, may alam ka sa electricity eh. So, nagtry kami. Sabi ko, basahin ko sa'yo yung procedure ha. Tapos, yung ano yung materials. Tapos, sabi ko, o meron ka ba? Sabi dito, ano yung, pag in-open daw yung wire, uh, kailangan may fibers na makikita sa loob. Tapos, yun yung kukunin, kukuha ng isa. Sabi niya, ah, ito yan. So, tas kumuha siya. So, to make it short, nakagawa siya ng isang setup, nag-try kami, yes, it's a successful one. Na, mini talaga si Kendall, nakita ko yung result na sinasabi sa activity, tapos I decided to create na lang ng, ng apat na setup para sa klase ko. Tapos yung, yung setup hindi buo, estudyante ko yung magbubuo doon sa during ng klase namin. Pero yung materials, i-provide ko na sa kanila lahat. Yun. Tapos, ayun. Tuwan-tuwa ako kasi successful din yung implementation. Yung desk ko nakasamahan, yung tatlo na teacher, hindi nila to ginawa eh. Kasi natakot nga dahil nung ginawa namin, nang kami lang, hindi sila nag -spool. Tapos ako, ako lang lang yung nakapag-try ni sa klase ko kasi nga ako yung nakatakas sa tulong ng asawa ko. No, yun. So, ayan, sana yun dun lang siguro ko na suggestion sa procedure ma-indicate talaga kung anong klaseng wire yung gagamitin para klaro na, lalo sa atin na mga hindi physics major kasi medyo nakakataranta talaga yan. Pero I'm Very, very talaga happy ako na naging successful tong very challenging na to na, na, na ano, activity. Okay? So, yon Ano naman yung feedback ng mga estudyante? So, common sa aming apat na teachers, ang sinasabi ng mga bata, maraming activities, puro activities tayo, no? Tapos, ang hirap, explain yung concept based dun sa activity. Dati, kokopya lang tayo sa books, ganun yung mga feedback nila. Pero nakikita ko naman sa kanila na happy sila, very engaging kasi yung mga activity. Yun nga lang, medyo kasi from the activity, bubuoin nila yung, i-explain nila yung topic. Ganun, no? So, yan. Ito yung mga estudyante ko during work for module 3. Ayan. Very engaging po, no? Explaining hotness or coldness sa dye and water. And then, ito naman yung interactive activity ko for series and parallel circuit. By group yan sila. Uh, this is online. Sila yung magbuo ng series and parallel. No? So, nakita dyan basically ng mga estudyante uh, paano i-connect ang mga wire, ano mangyayari kung series at parallel. So, interactive. Happy talaga sila dyan. Ayan. Tapos, ito naman yung sa activity 1, current and voltage na, na mga estudyante. At ito yung very successful at tuwan-tuwa ko na activity what makes it hot. Pakita niyo po yung mga estudyante ko, tuwan-tuwa din sila. Hindi na 
Nalalaglag daw yung candle, dumikit na sa wire. So, yun. Uh, ito na naman yung down activity na ginagawa. And the observation rubric po na ginagamit ko sa klase. Meron ako ditong in-embed na file, yung gina ginawa ko na electronic class record. No? Nakalink yan sa grading sheets, pero hindi yata yan dito mapapakita. If you will just want a copy, sabihin nyo lang po, bigyan ko kayo ng, ng copy ng template na yan. And, and for the final project, um, actually, ang final project namin, mga ma'am, is dalawa. Reducing electrical consumption and a brochure in preventing house fire. Una, bakit ko ito na, naisip? Wala ito dun sa ating module. Naisip ko siya nung binabasa ko yung sa work na module. Uh, sabi ko parang mas okay ito na project sa, sa mga estudyante ko. Ah. Yung pababain nila yung electric consumption nila. So, so ang ginawa ko po dyan... Uh, in-incorporate ko siya dun sa aking plan. Tapos, diniscuss ko sa kanila yung detalye, ano yung gagawin after the module. So, yung studyante po, they were given time to make their own plan on how they can reduce their electric consumption. And the project will be done until the end of the year, school year. So, hindi siya short-term project, kundi long-term project po. Uh, every grading period, uh, parte pa rin siya ng project kasama sa grading. Tapos, i-evaluate po nila yung mga activities na nilista nila sa plano, kung alin doon yung nag-work well, bakit bumababa yung electric consumption nila o hindi nagbago. Tapos, uh, isusort nila yan and finally, they will make a list of their effective strategies for the first uh, third grading period. So, ang ginamit ko lang sa grade nila ng first grading yung comparison ng June and July. Tapos, yung brochure po, gumawa rin sila preventing house fire. Ito po yung sample student plan ng mga estudyante ko na activities nila, paano bumaba. Meron pong isang mother na nag-feedback, natuwa siya kasi 10 kilowatt hour yung binaba ng kuryente nila. So, di ba, tuwang-tuwa yung nanay, tapos yung bata rin, nakita niya yung, yung, yung paano niya maa-apply yung, yung learning niya sa everyday living. Paano maging useful at may na kukonsulta namin sa mga physics teachers namin. So, ganon. And, and then, yung time spent in trying out the activities, di ba? Sobra talaga na 
kailangan mag-devote tayo ng oras para matry out lang yung mga activities at maintindihan yung konsepto. So kami, meron kaming Slack session sa school. Tinatry namin yung mga activities na yan. Ang klase namin is from 6 to 12.15 a double session kasi kami. So, yung vacant period namin na 1 to 2.30 ng hapon, talagang inuubos namin yan. Actually, we are, uh, umuwi kami po ng minsan 3 o'clock or 3.30 dahil sa pag-try out ng mga activities. Ganun namin sinusolusyonan yung mga challenges. Pero nag enjoy naman kami sa ginagawa namin. And then, yung number 3, talaga ang medyo mahirap kasi yung assessment tools mo na nakakasama rin namin sila dito. Um, nagkakaroon kami ng session. Ito yung School Learning Action Cell uh, na inaaral namin yung per module. Tinatry namin yung mga materials, yung mga activities. Tapos, sinishare namin yung mga resources na meron kami. So, yan po. And then, ito yung picture. Pag nag-slack kami, no? ito yung nagtatry out kami ng activity. Ito naman yung discussion namin. And then, for the learnings, ito po yung natutunan ko when I implement the K-12 curriculum. Yon, I love physics now. Alam ko na ngayon na ang physics, hindi siya basta uh, computation. Yun pala ay talagang ma-explain niya ano yung mga nangyayari everyday, paano ko siya magagawa ng maayos. Tapos, yung new approach might be difficult for non-majors, pero po, collaboration is the key para hindi kayo mahirapan. Tapos, hindi lang kayo mahirapan, kundi nagiging mas maganda yung working relationship dun sa inyong department, kayong mga teacher. Parang mga Ma naging close kami. No? In this curriculum, I was able to see also the connections of physical science to life science. Your
konsepto. So, yun yung isang natutunan ko din dyan na maganda. Students work on activities to track their own understanding of the concept. So, sa ending, sabi ko nga, to make the, the classroom engaging and enjoyable, kailangan po, we learn to collaborate, to be committed, commitment po ang key, creativity and are for our students para magkaroon tayo ng engaging, Can't hear you, Mom. Sal. Ah, okay. Okay, so uh, we're now loading the presentation for Unit 2 again in Physics. Um, while the presentation is loading, let me introduce to you our next uh, speaker. Our next presenter is Mr. Vic Emerson Danau. To his colleagues, he is Emer. And to his closest friends, he is Matang Lawin. Emer considers himself an enthusiastic science teacher and learner. It was in his early school grades when he started to be inquisitive, imaginative in thoughts, <laughs> and inventive in deeds. He candidly displayed exemplary 
performance in in academics, particularly in the field of science. He consistently also performed and uh, finished secondary level in 1993 with flying <coughs> colors. He was a DOST SEI scholar in pursuing the Bachelor of Science in Physics for Teachers at the Philippine Normal University in Manila and graduated as proficiency awardee in physics in 1997. Emmer passed the last licensure examination for teachers in 1997 and the career service examination also in the same year. Having passed the eligibility exams in the said year, Emmer started to work as teacher one in science at the Carino He was undeniably selected and awarded as most outstanding teacher and best teacher in science in the division. In 2005, Emmer finished Master in Education, major in Physics at the De La Salle University in Manila. According to him, investigating and getting his hands on facts are second nature. Emmer also consistently attends science and education related trainings and seminars. Currently a head teacher in science, this ever vigorous science aficionado remains engrossed in research and development projects that are aimed Let us have a peep at his grade 8 class. Friends, let us all welcome Mr. Emmer Danau. Emmer? Yeah. Thank you, Mamsel. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I, I may I just know if you could hear me clearly uh, by raising your hands. Okay, po ba ang audio ko? Okay, so let me proceed. Um, good afternoon, okay, everybody. Okay, Emmer, take it away. I am. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ma'am Sir. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. I am uh, from Kirino Province. For those of you who does not know where Kirino is, usually that's the usual question. Kirino is about 300 kilometers from Manila. It's uh, our more popular neighbors are Isabella Provinces and Navabiscaya and Aurora. We are actually a landlocked uh, non province in northern Luzon. Okay, so... Our school, our school school principal is Ma'am Payarcia, and our school is classified as a general comprehensive high school with 1,130 students. All in all, in our school, we have 46 teachers with 9 science teachers of grades uh, grade, for grade 8 profile. We have 230 grade 8 students. Divided into eight sections. So that uh, seven is under the regular curriculum, and we have one section, uh, what we call as the uh, STE program on the science and technology and engineering program, uh, formerly known as the ESE program. There are four science teachers in grade eight, and we teach four days a week. Four one or 
science at UP Nismed with physics educators from UP and Philippine Roman University For our school, uh, all the other si grade 8 science teachers work in other respective regional areas and uh, during the regional period. Okay. Uh, although all the science teachers are trained, we felt that there's still a need for us to continue working together as we feel that the point is to get it in line for our thought for us to be totally in our science teacher. So, weekly, at least once a week, we meet the kind of science teachers. It's every Friday to share the experience of science. So one of the major projects is crafting the assessment matrix, uh, the new the new way of assessing our students. Okay, we also share strategies. In the next slide, I will be showing you the sample assessment. Uh, this is actually contained in the DepEd uh, Depe memorandum, I think, or DepEd order. How to prepare the ass assessment matrix. So we place in there, then the Hanagedi and content standard. This is just a sample created by teachers for the training, which we have also used in our classes. So to demonstrate underst understanding of current voltage and distance relationship, electric power, electric energy, and home circuitry. So the performance standard. So, nakalagay dito, nakalagay uh, na nila dito. Yeah, okay. Nakalagay na dito yung what are those to be assessed and their knowledge. So, the learning competencies kayo dito sa sa Usually, dito sa assessment matrix, nahirapan kami sa parteng understanding sa process, ano? Kasi unlike yung sa knowledge, no? Unlike sa knowledge, sasabihin, nakukuha lang natin kaagad yung sa learning competencies. Yun no. naman sa understanding, usually, yung ginagawa namin yung in-based up sa six assets of understanding. Okay. As I recall, Ano pa bit ah, uh, yung sa understanding by design, ano? Under the understanding portion, the six facets, yung explanation, interpretation, subtitles. Although, kahit andan na yung guide, nahihirapan pa rin ako. Kaya yung sila ginagawa namin, nagawa namin, yung siya yan. skills kami sa laboratory performance. Ang products ng performances, isang product ang ilindot mo na umili. Na ay siya yung ilindot mo na umili. Meron lang ako isang klase kasi aside from uh, teaching as a head teacher, meron pa rin ako ibang task. So, usually, as my head teachers, binibigyan na ako ng kami ng isang klase. So, I have a grade 8 Mendel class. Um, one hour ang aming klase per day, uh, Monday to Thursday. At yung Friday, 
Friday during that time, meron tayo ina-alat for ang pinatawag na ICLA, Independent and Work Cooperative Learning Activities. Nagamit namin yan actually masyado, papakita ko sa inyo ay uh, ire-relate ko sa inyo later on from Dr. So, I have 38 students or relatively small belonging to the science of the public and program. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, yung natin na pinatawag natin mga bright uh, academically more advanced than the other So, sometimes we have informal discussions. So, that's it. So, that's it. We do laboratory activities and we have lots of informal activities. Uh, marami kami informal activity. Kaya yung pinakita ko yung isang picture dito, one of our informal activity sessions. Uh, sa labas lang kami. Uh, may mga activities kami sa labas. They just sit around informally. You know? Okay, um, teaching and learning materials that reviews, okay, aside from the modules, yun, the module actually namin, medyo late sa dumating, ano, patapos na, uh, first quarter challenge. So, uh, pero, hindi dyan namin sila makopya namin, uh, para magkaroon naman sila ng gamit. So we also use available technology like uh, Ang school namin ay merong modest laboratory Meron lang kami tatlong labs for all of the, our students uh, And then we use web materials whenever necessary Ayan, ito yung mga ipang ginagab, uh, sources and pwede nyong puntahan kung kailangan nyo ng mga multimedia resources in physics. I have this down three in here. Ayan mag uh, ginamit ko sa akin. Ayan. Uh, uh, ito, pwede nyo i-download yung, yung presentations later on para uh, for you to able to Okay. Sa amin sa school, hindi namin na-complete. Sometimes sounds lang. Ito namin. So, if it is one of my book. So, ginawa ko sa module 6. Next thing, Okay, some comments about the learning materials, ano? Uh, meron kasi iba na nagkukulang kami ng materials, kagaya dun sa testing ng sound. Uh, dalawa lang at dalawa lang yung graduated cylinder na gumagana sa amin. So, ito din yung graduated cylinder. Gamit sa pipe. Long nung nung ear yung na dadaanan ng sound yan okay um sa akin kasi dun sa modules medyo kampante ako sa pag-deliver ng module kasi physics major ako at physics yung topic uh, however na lahat ng may kasama ko sa grade 8 at sa biology major Kaya nangyayari, kung uh, nagpupulungan kami, nagpupulungan kami sa mga physics major, uh, ito po sa mga activities na nagagawa uh, naman. Kaya siya, uh, hindi nila masyadong nai-tatahan kung paano yung activities na nagpupulungan. So, uh, yun, doon kami, nagpupulungan uh, kami ng fellow, fellow grade 8 teachers.
Yan. Yan. Uh, this time, I will share you one of the culminating activity na ginawa namin sa electricity. Okay. Uh, design activity yung ginawa namin. So, actually designing at construction yun. So, dun sa objective namin, they will be designing and constructing at changing the world following some specification. Meron kang mag-design specific na parang specification sa kanila. Okay? So, maximum target dapat ka ng clear line and source of power is from the city. Meron, it is one series one parallel connection. It's part of the same class. Nila. And the main body is the topic of the main body. The main body is 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 the main body. The main body Yeah, so we're we're under plan. Uh, okay, na po bang ocho? Amsel? Okay. Si, si Jan, okay na? Okay, so uh, Emmer is now, I think his audio is okay now. So, balik ulit tayo kay Emmer. Emmer, okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you, ma'am, sir. 
Okay. So, for safety measures, ano, all plans, kasi there, there will be work, they will be working electricity and the fact that they will be using uh, power coming from this one house and power source, and this source that they will have to get the plans in the simulator. And here, and even Okay, after completing the project's initial completion, uh, we allotted one class period again for review. So, the students reviewed their output, compare nila yon sa kanilang plan, uh, and dun sa rubric, tapos, they are allowed to modify the output as needed. No? During this time also, yun na namin kinecheck ano na yung mga individual contributions na kung bakit meron na meron silang mga checklist mga collaboration checklist tsaka na binigay para sa kanila initiative and self-direction rubric yan after reviewing we allotted one class period again for the sharing portion. No? So each of the group was allowed to share. Pinakita din lang kami ng mga outputs sa kanilang classmate. No? After sharing, they also picked up some ideas from the output of our group. And they were allowed to modify still the project of the project. However, ideas from other groups should be acknowledged for incorporating them in the final product. Yun ang lagi kong sinasabi ka sa kanila. No? Kapag merong ideas, pwede nang petition para mas kapag-alala. Yan. Okay. So what were uh, and what were the reactions during the culminating activity, no? From the very start they were actually still excited. Na-excited na sila, tanong na sila ng tanong, andun na yung, ano, yung noise na excitement sa kanila. Immediately, there were immediate discussions on how they're going to do the product to find out. And then, so the sound of the break. Pero yung break, na may mga items din that they finalized it. And yung break na ginawa, after yung break, they also need to get out from a source na papakita ko mamaya. Pagkatapos, i-refine na lang namin to fit uh, our particular name. Okay. During the calculating activity, inquiry questions were developed by the students. Right? How are we going to determine the total current? 
ini series kepapare connection ya akan membuat ada flash lebih quick connection and intensity rate and create one of the group showing the products bisa so kino kino aku lagi baru ke studio awal ke studio di picture kasi hindi namin actually ni document masyado okay how do we assess student account attainment of learning group list and top list to assess students at any other objective in the next few slides papakita namin yung mga tricks so yung mga may mga checklist na mong ginawa creativity checklist collaborative checklist laboratory skills checklist shipping and submarine checklist checklist okay assessment is done through our preparation and preparation of the content After this slide, so we should have a test of the checklist. So, let's see. So, we have the checklist. So, I'm going to base the checklist for the minimum until assessing target level. Then, we have to do the checklist to the next. But I just want to try to hit the specific needs of the class. Okay. Here is some of the
ng mga bata. Okay, ito ang pinakamahirap. Ito ang pinaka-challenging. Yung preparation of the assessment matrix. Ano? Kung paano, how are we going to classify the questions as to their levels? Kung anong levels ng knowledge siya, understanding siya, under process, skills siya. What we do, we do the Hello? Yan? Uh, hello, Emma. Yes. yes. Go yeah. ahead. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, Mama. Ma- malinaw Ma'am. ka ngayon. Oh, sam- uh, ah, sam- okay. Thank you. Samantalahin mo. <laughs> oh, sige, Ma'am. So, okay. Ito pa si uh, one of the major challenges, you know, low understanding on how the laboratory relate to subject matter. So, our solution, kasi dati na sana kasi sila, no, kung nag-lab na lang sila, matatapos na doon, kung sila na sana. So, what we do is that we do prelim discussions on the concepts and procedures. Okay? We discuss the data to be collected. and how to process the data. Okay. Now, what the proper way of processing the data, what types of topics we use for certain types of data. When we have a commitment, we have a commitment. Okay. Reflections, reflections, questions will give it out if we have a data. The same with the details of how data should be done and how to say this data to understand. Okay. At importantly, we also stress the need for students to collaborate with each other, to confer with each other uh, about the question before answering. Uh, dito, gumamit kami yung animation. So, meron akong link na nilagay dito tungkol sa uh, link sa animation na ginamit ko. So, you could visit the link dito. Ayan. Ito yung snapshot. Isa, one of the snapshots na sa speed of sound demonstration wherein they could adjust the temperature and uh, Doon, makikita nila how the speed will change. Okay. Ito, students did not readily collaborate with each other. Ito, lagi ito, ano? So, meron talaga, hindi na collaborate. We explained to the students the benefit of collaboration. Tapos, uh, from time to time, from every activity, we vary the grouping schemes. Kuminsan, magkakasama yung mga the same ability level. Tapos, kuminsan, nagkakaroon ng mix. Random. Peers, kuminsan, peer selected. So, variety and a variety of uh, grouping schemes. And also, para everybody will be will be um, working. We see to it that when they do activities, they, uh, as much as possible, we try to make specific activities for its unique activities for each of the each of the students uh, so that everybody will be contributing. Okay? Ito pa. Sa klase, pinakamahirap, wala talaga nagtatanong ng mga bata. No? Sabi, uh, sabi ko nga nun siya, you know? siguro ang pinaka uh, gas gas na tanong ng teacher is that any questions, yan, pero ang Pinakagasgas din ang sagot nila, no sir, pero deep inside, marami silang tanong. You know? Mara, uh, they have many questions deep inside. You know? uh, meron sila, nalilito sila sa, uh, sa mga concept ko kung minsan. So, ginawa ko, uh, nag-require ako ng 
sick cards sa mga bata. So, everybody, um, ano lang naman, hindi naman komplikado ng tayo mag sheet of paper na hmm? pinangalanan ko ng sick card para, hmm? so doon, they write questions. So, everybody, so, I require them to write questions about their difficulties, or concepts that they do not understand. So, ginagawa namin sa ginaklasify ko yun pagkatapos ng klase, the following meeting discuss namin. So, minsan, alam ko tayo sagutin ng estudyante, sinasagot ng uh, mga fellow students nila. So, doon, Thank you. 
Okay, uh, maraming salamat din, Emer. Hello, yes. Um, thank you, Emer. It's just unfortunate that we were not able to catch all uh, the audio provided in your uh, sharing. But uh, I was telling our friends here from Bukal National High School that uh, we will uh, do something about the recording so that they will be able to hear all the audio that's part of uh, your presentation as well. All right, at, uh, at this point, nakita po natin sa sharing ni Emmer, no, that uh, while there is a new set of curriculum and a new set of learning modules and teacher's guides uh, accompanying the K-12 science for grade 8, you have seen that in Emmer's uh, example, he is able to meld together uh, into his teaching other effective or proven uh, pedagogical strategies. Uh, the use of assessment, the use of student questioning, uh, using projects. Uh, these are powerful uh, pedagogies that uh, Emmer was able to include in his teaching of grade 8 science, uh, notwithstanding the prescribed activities uh, in the modules. So makikita po natin, no, if you know uh, how to, uh, if you know your field well, and if you also know pedagogy, then it will not be very difficult uh, to adjust uh, or to adapt to a new curriculum or even any kind of curriculum reform for that matter. So uh, again, maraming salamat, Emmer. Uh, thank you for joining us from, from Kirino, no? Uh, at this point, meron pong tanong dito si Ma'am Michelle, no? Uh, ano ba daw yung activity na gagawin natin after this discussion? Uh, we have prepared actually um, some questions for you, which uh, you can you can uh, also use as guide for sharing your grade 8 experiences. At this point, I'd like to ask, is there anyone in our uh, group who is teaching grade 8 science? Meron po ba? Uh, may, may we hear from our participants from Bukal National High School? Uh, do you have... Are there any grade 8 uh, science teachers with you? Because if there are, then we will be proceeding to the next open sharing, which uh, will allow you also to share your own experiences in teaching uh, Unit 1. Okay, so, well, let me just load that for everyone to see. Okay, um, singa, subukan na. Uh, we have prepared some guide questions. And maybe uh, you can also uh, share your own experience there in Bukal, Bukal National High School. Uh, we have on your screen, there's a chat, the big chat now at the middle of the screen. So that you will be able to see the whatever our friends here will be able to type. And then on the right side, top right, you have the, the slides that contain the questions. Uh, guide questions for sharing about your grade 8 unit 1 experiences okay so uh, friends from Bukal did you use the UPNISMED developed learners modules and teachers guide also so we have uh, Mavic and uh, Emmer using also the learners module and the teachers guide that are provided by DepEd but along that, they also use other resources, both uh, online and offline. Okay, so Michelle is uh, typing some answers, so we will be waiting for, for her.
And we also have here uh, some poll questions again. Uh, at your school, who teaches Unit 1? Is it the grade 8 science teacher or the physics teacher or both the grade 8 science teacher and the physics teachers? And were you able to attend the Unit 1 orientation webinars last June and July? Maybe that can give us also some kind of idea about uh, how you have prepared for uh, Unit 1. Oh, okay. So, mukhang ang hindi, mukhang sumasama nga yung, yung panahon ngayon, no? From, hindi lang dito, kundi sa, sa lahat din, no? All over Luzon, I think. So, uh, at this point, we will, I would just like to uh, show to you a place in the Kasama Teachers uh, discussion that you can use uh, also later on. Uh, let me move on to that. So we will right now just postpone the sharing and uh, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this afternoon. Hindi masyadong maganda yung panahon, no? But uh, I will assure the friends from Bukal National High School that we will do the recording so that you will be able to view the entire presentation with the, the best audio quality. All right, so may our friends to please uh, fill out the feedback form. Uh, please uh, share with us what you think about the webinar this afternoon uh, based on your personal experience. You see there the link, uh, surveymonkey.com slash s slash yk8. G two Q six. So uh, you can just uh, click on that link to go to the feedback form. And then, if you have questions about the webinar this afternoon, the sharings, uh, you can click on the link to the Kasama teachers discussion about grade eight science. You can also uh, write there some of your questions if you have difficulties teaching specific activities. Or modules right now in unit 2 on earth and space you can make use of uh, this discussion page to let us know if you need any help or any additional resources for the unit 2 uh, grade 8 science okay so again there's uh, another webinar in October it's going to be again on the fourth Friday of the month that's on the 25th of October. And same time, same URL, 4 to 5.30. We hope to see you there. And we hope we will also have a better audio by that time. Our resource persons will be the writers of uh, all the modules in Unit 3. Uh, they're all from UPNISMED. And they will be presenting to you the different activities in the modules on matter and provide you with uh, tips on how you will be able to facilitate uh, effectively all these uh, activities. So don't miss that uh, because it's a, a very unique and helpful webinar for all of you. Uh, spread the word of course as usual and tell your friends that there's going to be a webinar on the 25th to help them prepare for Unit 3 matter for grade 8 science. Okay, so at this point, let's thank again uh, Mavic Rosales of uh, San Jose del Monte National High School and also Emmer Danao of uh, Quirino General High School in Cabarogis, uh, Quirino Province. Thank you and also thank you to our friends from Bukal National High School in Maragondon, Cavite. See you again on the 25th next month.
Okay, so uh, please remember the PowerPoint presentations that are used by Mavic and Emmer this afternoon will all be made available in Tasama Teachers Online Community on the discussion page about Grade 8 Science. So you can download the copy of uh, today's presentations uh, that you can use to maybe uh, as a guide for your own reflections about your own experiences in teaching grade 8 science.